Lisbon is one of the oldest cities in Europe, older than Paris, older than London, older than Rome even. And it's the only European capital to be built on both a river, the Tagus, and a sea, the Atlantic. This is very much a city that ebbs and flows with the tide. The name Lisbon comes from the word Lisipo, which means enchanted port. And that's exactly how this city feels. This lively Portuguese city is the starting point for our unforgettable Douro with Lisbon and Madrid journey with Scenic. Down toward the river is the Hieronymus Monastery, a 500 year old masterpiece with a history as impressive as its sheer physical size. It took over a century to build, but the chapel itself dates back even further. It was King Manuel who built the church? Yes, he was the one who sponsored the construction of the church here in Belém. And there was a reason why it was built right here? Yes, there's a reason. Uh, here was like a little hermitage that belonged to the military order of Christ. And he was governor, he was great master of that order. And for that reason, he, he chose this spot to build his masterpiece with a, a kind of a decoration that in Portugal we called Manuelino, After from him. his name. Right. Yeah. King Manuel gave the orders for the monastery's construction to begin at the end of the 1400s, here at the site where seafarers sought refuge and prayed for safe passage during Portugal's age of discovery. You just cannot underestimate what these guys achieved, really. They, they opened up Europe yeah. to the rest of the world, really, didn't they? Europe, no, the Fire world. The, sea. the known world yeah. at the time, exactly. Because other people tried to do circumnavigate the world, but they never found the passage. Yeah. And that's pretty much what we did. We found a passage from the Atlantic to the Indic Ocean. Just a few k's outside of Lisbon is Sintra arguably one of the country's most enchanting towns, chosen as a royal retreat for its beauty and isolation, and now left with a legacy of palaces and regal estates. Sintra's national palace is palatial, with lavish interiors that remain virtually unchanged since the Middle Ages. It still has all the fascinating detail from five centuries ago, including a kitchen that allowed for the preparation of meals for hundreds of guests. Moving on, and Portugal's northern jewel of Porto is ours to explore. This is exactly how you want a European city to look and feel with a whiff of faded glory and grandeur. It's all here in Porto. It's all clustered upon that hillside and cobblestoned all the way to the banks of the Douro River. Before we set sail on scenic azure on this, our unforgettable Douro adventure, this lively port city beckons us to explore its treasures. The Riviera, literally translated as riverbank, is where it all began, where the crowds continue to flock. Does the whole city revolve around the waterfront, the riverfront? Yes. Uh, since, well, centuries before Christ, when the Romans arrived here, and they built a port connecting with Rome. That was the beginning. So the oldest remains of Porto, they are all here. The Douro rises 900 kilometers to the west in Spain. It crosses the Portuguese border and then carves its way through 200 kilometers of arid hillsides and tight valleys to empty into the Atlantic, just here at the port of Porto. It's wine country. Well, it's, it's port country to be exact, so named after Portugal's port of Porto, where they would transport port to the port to export to ports of import, looking to import port. Coburn's holds one of the greatest collections of oak barrels and wooden vats of any port seller in the world, with seasoned and aged oak at the heart of its premium port production. But as always, the proof is in the port glass itself. So this is a 20 years. This is the 20? Yes, this is a 20, 20, and the average of the plant is 20 years. Right, okay? this is syrupy and... Yeah. Wow. 
I'll take 10 of each. <laughs> okay. 